Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, today I'm going to have a look at a puzzle from the Sudoku Mahabharat first round from Logic Masters of India. So the LMI website, the Logic Masters India website, um, features six tests. As you can see here, they run once each of the first six months of 2020. And the first of these took place on the 10th to the 15th of January 2020. It's very much worth registering with the LMI website and taking part in the tests when they come up. Next one will be 7th to the 11th of February with a theme of substitution and neighbours. As we can see, the theme from the first round was standard. And as well as a bunch of classic Sudokus, there were some of the very standard variations. So some of the ones we've featured quite a lot, like Diagonal Arrow Thermo Sudoku, which we've been doing quite a bit of lately, and Palindrome Sudoku. And Classics, there were some 6x6 six six and some 9x9. Nine nine. Um, this was one of the harder end puzzles, and I don't think it's all that hard, so that should show you that this test is quite manageable. You get 90 minutes. Um, I got all the puzzles done in 64 minutes. I was quite pleased with that. That's quite good for me. Um, finished about in the top 50 out of some 500 competitors. That's fine. Um, but the best people got it done in 32 minutes, like half my time, which is just astonishing. And that means, given the number of puzzles, I reckon they're doing this sort of puzzle in about three minutes. So that's not really what I'm aiming for here. So, But let's have some fun solving it. Now, this is an arrow Sudoku. The rules are that along each arrow or line, the numbers leading up to the circle add up to the number in the circle. So here, for instance, this could be a 5, this could be a 2, this would be a 7. Um, obviously, there are various possibilities until we start getting somewhere with the Sudoku. Um, and that's how the rules work. Also worth noting, which I didn't when I was solving it, is that the um, lines used here make up the numbers 2020 in a way making this Sudoku represent 2020 because it was for January 2020. So that was very clever. Didn't spot that at the time. Anyway, let's get cracking and see how we get on. So this middle row has got a lot of numbers filled in already. We need two, five and three. So we can easily put those in straight away. Let's have a look at the first column. No, eight, nine in that one, four, nine in that one. No, we can't complete any of columns one, five and nine. So now we need to find something else. So I'm going to do a bit of Snyder notation. Well, no, maybe not first. Look at this 9. That's acting on those two cells. So 9 has to be on one of those two. And 9 can never be on a line which has more than one constituent in one of these puzzles because then they'd add up to more than 9. So 9 has to be there. Um, this has to be 1, 8 or 3. And it can't be 8 because this can't be 1 and that's the maximum. So this must be 1 or 3 now. Now can this be 8? No, because that would have to be 1. So 8 in this box must be there. This is also 1 or 3. And we've made quite a bit of progress with that box already. 6, 2, 9, 7, 8. Now because of this 5, one of these has to be a 5. And that's quite important because we've got three digits here adding up to this one. That has to be 8 or 9 once we've got a 5 on the line. Oh no, that's not true actually. It can't be 8 because there's an 8 above it. But it could be 7 if this 5 went with a 1 and that was a 1. And in fact, this can't be 2 or 3. 4 would be too many because there has to be another digit up here. So, sorry, I shouldn't have put those in the middle, should I? I should have put them on the corner. So this has to be a 1, is what I've concluded there. Otherwise, we're going to get too many. And 2 has gone in this box. This has to be 5 and 3. So we can jump to that straight away. This is now a 9. These two, we are left with a 4 and 1. That's resolving the 3, 1 pair there. 2 and 8 here. Well, obviously this can't be 8 on the line. That's 8. That's 2. We can now add up this total. It's a 7. 
Uh, we've got a four and a six to put in those two cells, but we don't know which way around they go yet. So that's a really good start with these central ones. Now, how about this? Can't be seven or eight. It could be five. Six won't work with the addition. Four won't work. Nine won't work. So I think we're left with only five as a possibility. Pretty sure that's what I came up with there. Okay. Um, these two must be consecutive numbers because of that one. So they could be, can't be three, four because of these three, four. Could be four, five. And after that, we're out of consecutive numbers in this column. F sorry, four, five, eight, nine, six, two. The three in the column must be down here. This is one and seven, obviously seven in the circle, one outside it. These two add up to seven and they can't include a one. Could be five, two, or it can't be four, three because there's three, four there. So five and two. And I mean, really this, you know, some fairly simple deductions. And I promise you, this was one of the higher tariff puzzles from the set. So what this is going to show, I think, is that these are all quite manageable puzzles. Um, now we've got eight, nine to complete the middle column. We've got eight, seven to complete the first column. That's all very straightforward. This can't be a seven anymore. Um, should we be using the arrow clues or just regular Sudoku at this point? Not sure. Let's, let's have a look at this one, which we haven't really touched. Oh, actually, can this be a six? If that was a six, three there, nine there, it is possible. In fact, this has to be nine because of that nine and that nine. So I can put the nine in there. That's gonna make this three or seven to make up the sum with this one. Four and five now in this box have to be down here because of this five and this four. And the five up here sorts out which way round they are. So we've now got a three, seven pair there. This has to become six. That resolves the two and the seven. The two on this line now makes that the seven. Um, we're getting rid of quite fast of all our possibles that we've arranged earlier. Four, five, three, eight, nine, seven here because it can't be in this box. These are two and six. Now we don't know the order, but we know what they add up to. And it really is quite straightforward at this point. I mean, again, it is a matter of some experience knowing how to use the ordinary Sudoku rules together with the um, constraints of the arrows. But once you've got a little bit of that experience, this can come fairly quickly. And uh, this wasn't too difficult a puzzle. Um, I'm sure your comments will reflect that as well. It really, it really isn't too taxing by anybody's standards. Now you might take longer than this, but there again, you might be, uh, it will still be quite a reasonably quick time, I would have thought, for anybody as long as one doesn't go wrong somewhere. So that's the Logic Masters India Sudoku Mahabharat tests. And as I say, next one coming up um, on the, what did we say, the 5th to the 11th of February? No, the 7th to the 11th of February. Slightly shorter time period than the first one. But uh, certainly it's going to be worth having a go at that. Um, and I do recommend the test. So thanks very much for watching. And um, there, are, there are other tests available to, to the public. It's, what is a bit of a shame is that they don't, I think on LMI, make these tests available afterwards to practice with. But what you can do is to download the instruction book for this first test, which came without a password, and have a go at the puzzles that we use to exemplify the types, because in fact, they're just almost just as good as the competition puzzles. So uh, well worth doing. Thanks very much for watching. Um, do enjoy your Sudoku and variant Sudoku, and hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.